First, I'll be using the back of this Dollar Tree Easter sign. So it did have these little holes where the hanger was. I'm just gonna use some lightweight spackle that you could also get from Dollar Tree just to patch those right up. So I just use a little popsicle stick, just fill up those holes, and then go ahead and let that completely dry. Once that is dry, I'm using Waverly Chalk Paints in the color Plaster. And I'm just going to go over this sign with two good coats. You want to just dry the first coat before going on to the second coat and go ahead and let everything dry. Once dry, I just went around the sign and gave it a good sanding just to reduce any brush strokes that have dried onto the sign. Next, I'm using this bright pink and white acrylic paint. You can pick these up from Walmart. And I am just mixing the two colors together so that way I get a light pink color. You then want to grab some blue painter's tape. You could also find this at Dollar Tree. I am just placing one piece in the middle of the sign going horizontally. That is going to be acting as our spacer. Put two more pieces of blue painter's tape at the top and the bottom of the spacer. And then just continue doing this all throughout the sign make sure that the tape is completely adhered and then go ahead and start applying that pink and white mixture let that dry and go ahead and peel off that blue painter's tape next you want to do the same blue painter's tape method but this time we're going to be going vertically so align that middle piece that's going to be acting as our spacer put two other pieces right next to it move that middle piece to the left or to the right add another piece of blue painters tape and just continue doing this all throughout the sign and once you have those pieces of tape put down just use that same mixture of the pink and white acrylic paints and let this part completely dry and for this part you don't want to peel off that blue painters tape leave that blue painters tape put on go over the sign again where we had originally put down the blue painter's tape the first time and once you have those put down now i'm just going to be using the pink acrylic paint straight out of the bottle and just go over that sign with that colored pink go ahead and let that completely dry and then you are good to go ahead and peel off that tape and now you're left with this awesome pink buffalo check background. Next up, I got this wooden truck from Dollar Tree. So I didn't like how they placed the pieces around the wheel. So I just went over it with my hair dryer. You could use a heat gun and then I'm just using this metal scraper tool. Eventually these pieces will come up. However, it did take the backing of the wood that's on the truck off. Did it bother me? Not really. I just went with it and I peeled off as much of the original wood as I could and just gave it a good sanding. And now I'm just going over the truck with Waverly Chalk Paints in the color Crimson. Gave this two good coats and go ahead and let that dry. Don't forget to paint the small pieces as well using some black acrylic paint to paint the tires and then don't forget to paint the round pieces in white and then i just started hot gluing all the pieces right back together and i think the truck came out so much better than it looked before it just looked so awkward before and then for the backing of the truck i painted that with a brown acrylic paint and of course, to make my truck look a little bit more weathered, using that brown acrylic paint, I just did some dry brush strokes all throughout the truck. And this part is completely optional. Next, I got these hearts, wooden hearts from Dollar Tree using this pink one, just hot gluing it in the center of the door. Go ahead and grab the original Buffalo check sign, finding a good placement for that truck. I'm using this Dollar Tree adhesive glue with a mixture of hot glue and just gluing that right onto the sign. I then just created this messy bow. 
All you have to do is just crisscross some ribbon of your choice. I like to hold my ribbons together with a zip tie, so just make sure that is nice and centered. Tighten that as tight as it'll go, and look at how cute that is. And then I just hot glued that bow to the top left corner of this sign. And then grabbing some more of those wooden hearts from that Dollar Tree package, I'm just hot gluing those onto the back side of the truck as well. And then I had some of these Scrabble letters. I just spelled out loads of love and I just hot glued those to the bottom of the sign. And there you go, guys. I think this came out so adorable. I hope this inspires you to create your own in your own special way. If it did, please be sure to sprinkle the love. Thank you so, so much. And I hope y'all have a good rest of your day. Thanks. Bye.